I didn't film myself going through the security on the first side, on the beginning side. I was afraid that they'd think I'm trying to circumvent the system and take me into a back room and give me a cavity search or something. So, yeah, not for me. Good morning, Charlie with Red Summit RF here, taking you along on my Summits on the Air adventures. If you're just tuning in, please subscribe below and also hit the bell so that you can be notified as, as I upload uh, new content. I'm in Emanclaw right now, outside of Seattle. I just arrived this morning and I'm going to hike a, uh, a peak behind me. It's called Pinnacle Peak. And uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the things that I do when I travel, especially when I fly. I've uh, got a few things in mind that I'll uh, talk about, maybe four or five points, and uh, we'll uh, get going with that. I'll uh, also activate as I usually do. So uh, with that, let's get going. The sun is going down now. Been at it for a while. And I have had enough of this I doubt that we can solve it Been trying for so long And I just can't ignore That it won't ever be the same No, we will never be that good again Don't drag it out Skip the innocence back down to the lookout here some locals told me about behind me is Mount Rainier as I mentioned before it was a little foggy when I got here and I don't know whether that's fog or just some other type of haze behind me on the Mount Rainier but you can see it in the background I'm sure one thing I wanted to mention right off the bat is when you're traveling make sure that you take your ham radio gear with you on the plane don't check your gear there's been too many times I've heard where an individual has either lost uh, equipment or the equipment's been damaged. I know especially damaged because uh, they really don't take care of those bags at all underneath the plane. So I take mine with me. I take it through security and I've never been stopped. I've been through security probably eight, ten times and not, never even questioned about it. And so all you do is take your, your stuff out of the bags, put it in the bins and run it through and pick it up on the other end. It's, it's that simple. Uh, I always just carry the same bag that I use when I uh, go and activate summits and so I just pull everything out of the bag as I've put it in and uh, th that's all there is to it. So it's important to to keep your gear with you so that it doesn't get damaged and uh, so that you it's it's ex um, you know it's expensive and so you need to make sure you're taking care of it. Another item is to check your weather. I checked the weather before I came and it said it was going to be 40 degrees when I started my hike and then 50 uh, by the end of the day. It's really nice right now. It actually turned out to be better weather than I thought it was going to be. As you can see, I'm only wearing a t-shirt right now and it's, you know, first part of November here in Seattle. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very mild. Even though I always check the weather, I bring extra clothes uh, prepared for different things. I bring my uh, frog togs for rain. I have extra layers that I bring. I bring snow pants and uh, beanie and gloves and all that, just in case the weather changes between the time that you last checked and the time that you get to the trailhead. So make sure you always check the weather and then, uh, and then be prepared for uh, weather changes. 
Another thing is to uh, check ahead with uh, locals. When, when you're flying uh, long distance away in, into an unfamiliar area, you need to know uh, what to expect. I emailed the uh, King County uh, Park Service and I asked them if this uh, trail was even going to be open. It's November. You know, a lot of times trails close uh, in in the winter time and, and uh, parks do as well and you can't have access to, the, to that. So I went ahead and emailed. They said it was going to be open year round. So that's great. I also called ahead and uh, talked to a guy named Don at the Park Service as well because I wanted to find out um, if, if there were uh, trail closures because as I was uh, researching I saw that there was a trail that was closed in this area uh, actually in this park and I wanted to make sure that the trail I was planning on taking was not closed so make sure you call ahead and, and uh, ensure that your your uh, you know that your your plans are are in order and that there won't be any hiccups there you'll also want to have a contingency plan sometimes even though you've done due diligence you've uh, called ahead you've talked to park service Still, sometimes things happen where you are not able to access a particular peak you may be wanting to, act, to uh, activate. Say, for example, you do all the research, it's not a park, it's, it appears to be on uh, forest service land, and then you show up and, it's, and, and it ends up being private property. Well, you can't really, uh, or you shouldn't, activate that summit without permission, and so it's best to have a uh, second alternative plan. Squawk Peak was my backup, and I uh, was intending to, to hike that one if this one wasn't going to work out, but obviously it's, it's working out great and, and I'm really enjoying uh, this hike. Another item you might want to consider is to minimize risk. You're going into a new environment, you're going into a place probably that you've never been to before, uh, you don't know what to anticipate, you don't know your surroundings, it's best not to, to activate risky peaks. For example, I you know I'd, I'd love to uh, activate Rattlesnake Peak up here, uh, but uh, nine miles and uh, it's you know it's an all-day thing. It's a little bit more uh, secluded. Uh, all these factors, you know, if something were to happen, you you would really be in trouble if you if you didn't uh, know your surroundings. So, so for me, when I'm going to a location far away, typically I'll do something that's easy. You know, a drive up or a mile hike, uh, something not too strenuous, a one or two pointer. That way I know that I'm always really close to services and help if I need it. So let me go find a place to uh, set up here off away from all the traffic now. Thank you. 
sun is going down now Been at it for a while And I have had enough of this I doubt that we can solve it Been trying for so long And I just can't ignore That it won't ever be the same Okay, made it back to the trailhead. Remember, if you are flying to another destination, carry your bag with you on the plane, don't check it, and make sure you check the local weather forecast, make sure that uh, you understand what the weather conditions are, make sure that you talk to locals about uh, access to the area you're going to and any advice that they might have, make sure that you uh, have a backup plan in case uh, you arrive at the destination and uh, you can't activate so that uh, your time isn't wasted and then also make sure that you uh, don't uh, um, that you don't uh, uh, take too many risks that you minimize your risks by uh, first off anyway doing some easy hikes if you enjoyed this uh, please click the like button below and uh, if you uh, have any ideas on uh, other additions to uh, the suggestions that I've made, why don't you put those in the comments below as well. Also, if you want to suggest a peak or a topic within reason uh, that I could uh, do on one of my future videos, please put that in the comments below. Catch me on Twitter at NovemberJuliet7Victor underscore. And uh, with that, uh, 73, and we'll see you on the next summit.